all the parts for my breadboarding circuit have finally arrived, most namely these uh, plugs and the additional LED reels. So it's time for us to go onto the desk and power up our LEDs. I have all of the pieces here in front of me now. My fancy new jump cables, multicolored crocodile clips, and quite importantly, the reels of blue and white LED tape, which were a pretty good deal. I mean, you go go to Maplin and try to buy this stuff, it's like five pounds for five centimeters. I've got five meters, and both reels were like five pounds each, uh, together. So that's all together. As we saw before, everything is already laid down on the board, one of each of my different cards of LEDs, including deflector and the buzzards. And now all I have to do is tie it together, shove some power through it, and it should light up. Step one is to go through and ensure that all of my LEDs are wired in correctly with the polarity and what have you. So I'm just going to go ahead and test the 2mm red. And ideally, when I plug this into the positive, it'll light up nice and bright. Which it does indeed. As you can see, it's a nice, good brightness not too imposing. So now I've got all of the 2mm wired in. If I plug them in, perfect. They all look good, nice and steady. Didn't go pop. Now let's get the larger ones wired in. And now if I bring the power in, we should get all of them lit up. Excellent. Nice, super bright blue, red for the buzzards, and all the nerves. Now that I know all the LEDs are working properly, the final thing to do is to wire in the 555 timer and bring the whole thing together. should now be able to fire this up. Or not. 24 hours later. All right, we are back. And what a pain in the end that was. Maplin sold me not one, but two Duff 555 chips. I spent the last 24 hours trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with my circuit. I redid all the math. I checked all the wiring, I've assembled and reassembled this thing probably 20 times. <laughs> it turns out that the I bought three chips. One for this model, one for the Reliant, and one for Battlestar Galactica model that I have. <laughs> it looks like I've just got the one left. Good thing these things are uh, pennies to the dollar. <clears throat> but, uh, unfortunately, of course, this means I wasn't recording the whole thing, so I can't really show you too much. But it's a fairly standard 555 circuit and I've played around with the timings. I've gone for a 39k resistor for the big one, a 3k resistor for the small one, which gives me two, uh, a two second duration, of which it's on for about a tenth of a second and off for 1.9 seconds. And I've wired up all of the LEDs along here, so I should have all the colors. Which means that all I need to do now... Oh, it's a 47 UF capacitor. If I just plug it in now, we should get our flashing strobe. There we are. Bam. The green and the white are uh, quite bright compared to the red and the yellow. But there's not much that can be done about that. Admittedly, it's quite a, a bright environment, but you can see that they're, they're all flashing, they're all working. And it's quite a nice punchy on-off. I could still play with the resistor values some more, maybe if I think it's on for a bit too long, but I think it's a pretty good strobe. <sighs> so, now that that's all done, <laughs> I can go ahead and start building up parts of the model. As I showed earlier, I also have the, the tape and the static LEDs, so I have everything that I need. 
I can go ahead and turn this into a static circuit, which is just mounted onto a bit of uh, copper board. I'm going to start by assembling the nacelle pieces, which I've got here. I've uh, pre-coated them. I haven't done the light blocking yet, but that's what I'm going to be doing next. So I'll, I'll assemble the nacelles and struts, as they'll be the easiest bits to get to a fairly finished state. There was a period of warmth over the uh, last couple of days, so I was able to get my stand glossed, which gives it this nice semi-gloss finish, which should be the same finish for the, uh, the hull as specified in the instructions. I think it looks quite nice. So the stand is done done. In fact, I can take it off like that and uh, use that for spraying these bits. Unfortunately, that does mean I'm a touch delayed on the whole project, but you know what? It's just nice to know that it wasn't me at fault here. I'll just bin the timers. I don't think I have a receipt for them. But I'm watching you, Maplin. Nah. But for now, I'm Raven, and that's all from the desk.